You know what? I do have to say this. Is What's up guys, Larry Chen here. Welcome to another episode of Hoonigan Autofocus. Thanks to my friends at Yokohama Tire and KW Suspension. They flew us out here to Japan to cover Japanese car culture. And we're really, really appreciative of sponsors and friends that really support Hoonigan Autofocus. They believe in our brand. So that's why we're here. And that's why we're here showing you guys this awesome car content. Studi is pretty much like the premier BMW tuning shop here in Japan. We got Bob here, the owner. Hey, Bob. Hi. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Welcome. Already just kind of looking around just this parking lot, I can tell it's already really special. I've been to so many BMW shops, but you guys are pretty much the, the biggest and the best in Japan. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, about uh, five shops. Oh, okay. Yeah, Sendai, Tokyo, Yokohama, Kobe, Nagoya. So I see the logo on the building. What is the actual logo from? What does it mean? Studio. Uh, is uh, of course uh, a German language, and the studio is uh, uh, as English uh, study. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, I think uh, life is uh, every time need study. Of course. <laughs> you learn something new every day. <laughs> Just like today, I know I'm gonna learn a lot yeah, yeah, yeah. about BMWs uh -huh. from you. Uh -huh. So thank you. So let's kind of check out some of the cars you have out here. I was eyeing this. I'm a really big fan of the Z8, but uh, this is something interesting. I, I'm not a big BMW guy, but I understand this is basically like a M2 convertible that you've created yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh... I ho I want uh, M2 Cabriolet, yeah. but BMW not delivery. So you just made it Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I just make it. Then, from there, M2 40i. So on top is M40, <laughs> uh -huh. underneath it's <laughs> M2. M2 competition. Oh. So they cut it. Oh. Yeah. Bob was saying that this is a M240 cab. Unfortunately, they never actually sold these in Japan they uh, had to import this specifically just for this project. Is this your personal car then? Yes. It's an M240, all of these body panels. This is actually from an M2, yeah. right? Engine hood and front fender. This is a BMW M performance uh, carbon material. And the front bumper, side skirt, rear fender, rear bumper, rear trunk, all M2 competition standard. Yeah. And this is not stock either. You have some KW three-way adjustable suspension on this? Yes, yes. Variant 4. And of course, perfect. You got Yokohama tires too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what engine is this then? Uh, B58. Okay, so this is actually uh, the same engine out of the new A90 Supra, correct? Yes, right? yes, yes, yeah? yes, okay. yes, yes. All right. So uh, how much more power is this making versus stock? After tuning, uh, 40, 450 pass. Yeah, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I love manual transmission. Yeah, save the manuals. <laughs> It sounds good. I like it. So this is uh, your personal Z8 then, Bob? Yes, I bought uh, this car, by new car. 
and so start modified after uh, I sold uh, this car to my customer. And so now is a customer car. The, the crazy thing about this Z8, it just looks a little bit off. It just, it's one of those things where I can't really quite put my finger on what's going on with this thing. But the front bumper is changed, the fenders, pretty much everything. The only thing that's still from BMW is the doors and the roof, correct? So, so, so. Wow, <laughs> the interior is so beautiful. Oh, beautiful Recaro seats, manual transmission, of course. Yeah. What is that? Tune. Oh, okay. So that's your Studi tune program, huh? Does this make more power than stock then? Almost 550. This has got to be a handful to drive for sure. 550 horsepower. Yeah, you know, that's the thing is I've always had a soft spot for these cars, but I just don't know too much about them, but it's kind of cool. I've actually never seen a modified BMW Z8 and they've pretty much changed as much as they can on this thing. Front bumper, fenders, side skirts, rear fenders, the ducktail trunk lid, bumper is modified. Yeah, this thing is just so cool. Oh, here we go. He's gonna start it. Well, it's quiet. Okay, okay. All right, I get it. That sounds great. You know what? I do have to say this. This thing is so cool. Oh, it sounds so good. I love this car. Yes. This thing is so cool. So this is pretty much brand new, huh? Zero miles? Uh, 50 miles. 50? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Inside the pot? <laughs> That's basically zero. Yeah. 50 miles. Yes. So, and this is just your pri personal collection? Yeah, yeah, collection? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Oh, it's so I, cool. I love this car. Yeah, I love it too. Uh -huh. Well, um, Bob unfortunately has to go, but uh, we're gonna take uh, that green, what is it called, the AC L2? We're gonna take the AC L2 out to lunch, and we're gonna do a full feature on it. That thing is so cool. I just cannot believe it's a base M240, mm -hmm. right? To 35. Oh, even better. Uh -huh. Base is an M235 uh -huh. and it does a 724 on the Nürburgring Nordschleife, yeah. right? So crazy. Um, crazy. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, and hopefully we'll see you soon. Yeah, see you. Yeah. I scumbagged Bob into letting us use the ACL2 for a little photo shoot and a little fun drive. This thing is so awesome. It, it's just kind of crazy to me. This is what I love about car culture, right? So no matter where I go in the world, of course, the fact that this is a one of one car built for the Nürburgring Nordschleife, it's in Japan. It's so cool. The green and the red, maybe it's a little Christmassy and maybe some people won't like it, but I just think it's so cool how unique it is. It's 570 horsepower, 740 foot-pounds of torque, just insane, which comes out to 191 horsepower per liter. Of course, it's running KW three-way club sports and it's running Yokohama Advan Sport V105 tires. So this is kind of interesting in that it was built before 
they even realized that an M2 competition was going to be created. So they took the M235 and then just threw the whole catalog at it. It does do 724 on the Nurburgring Norseleifer, which I can only imagine going that fast. I think uh, my last lap time was 20 minutes. Brakes are carbon ceramic, as you would to build such a crazy car for this kind of duty. The price is, um, the price. How much would you pay for this? A lot. <laughs> More than I have. More than half. So this actually goes for 150,000 euros. I think that's just the conversion cost, not including the price of the car. Okay, so I have to buy the car first. Yes. Yes. <laughs> this, thing is just, this is just nuts. I just, I don't even, I can't even. It's just so weird to me to be able to shoot these kind of cars in Japan of all places. The interior is pretty awesome too. So. It has a, a US radio, which means of course the navigation doesn't work here. So they have to install a separate navigation. But look at the seats, all of the matching leather and it's manual. I can't believe a manual transmission car can go that fast on the ring. And look at the back. There's no rear seats, it's just a shelf. I'm gonna take this out, I'm gonna drive it. I'm gonna scare myself probably. It is raining a little bit, so I won't go too crazy. I think it'll be a lot of fun. settings. I didn't even ask you. Why would you assume that? No. Get out of here. I wasn't even going to here. ask you that. I was not even going to ask you that, Larry. Why would you assume? All right, let's break down the gear you're using. Windex 2 with a 135. What do you have on your other body? 3514. Yo. What body? On a 1DX2. Ugh. Canon 1DX2. This thing is just too cool. Hey, uh, excuse me, sir. You're actually on the wrong side of the... Get it. Get it. What's... Wow. Okay, so just driving this thing already, it's so crazy. You know it's something special because of how low it is. Like I could barely see over the dash at all. But on top of that, the brakes are so sensitive. They're so grabby. And I could hear the pad. Oh my God, I could hear the pads grabbing. It says the boost bar here. It's also weird to me to be in a left-hand drive car driving on the left in Japan. I love the manual transmission. I just feel like all of these cars need to be manual. I get it, it's not as fast. I'm driving slow and I'm still enjoying it. And it's just so much fun for me to row through the gears. We're coming up to a tunnel, so <laughs> Window automatically down. windows down. Same oh gear, my gear god, I know. Oh, this is so cool. Oh. <laughs> it's so crazy. Oh. <laughs> it steps out immediately. 570 horsepower. Oh my god. 740 foot pounds of torque. It has so much torque, but as soon as the boost kicks in, the rear end just steps out. Oh, it's so scary. It's scary to drive. Oh, that's pretty, that's pretty good, some clutch. You know, the clutch is actually not that bad. It's pretty easy to drive. 
I just can't believe it. One of one. This thing is just so cool. It has 25,000 kilometers. I bet you a lot of those are track miles. That was insane. It's a little too much power for the street. It's pretty much wheel spin anytime I put my foot to the floor. As soon as the boost kicks in, that thing is all over the place. It's so cool that it's manual. Definitely thanks to Bob for letting us come here. The thing is, I know there are sponsors, Yokohama Tire and KW, but Bob is a really big believer in the product that he sells here because of his racing background. They ran Yokohama Tire and KW suspension on their BMW Z4 GT3 car. So therefore, you know, it's the whole race on Sunday, sell on Monday thing. Bob definitely is a big believer in that and it's super cool to kind of see this BMW tuning culture is alive and well. With him and his five shops, they're just pumping out these really cool street builds. This thing is uh, a little more than that. It's a track tool, but uh, definitely appreciate them letting me drive it. It's super cool. See you guys at the next one. We're gonna keep pushing super hard here in Japan.